Welcome to Card Carnival.
future right now and I was really hoping to nab one of me playing Queen's blood you literally couldn't have come at a better time what do you say help a girl out Sharp. Talk about a hunky diamond in the rough. Have you ever thought about becoming a model? <gasps> Mola, you're a genius. We could team up. Be a card slinging, catwalk strutting duo. You and me taking over the world. What do you say? No. Harsh. <laughs> we'll be kicking it here for a bit if you change your mind. After all, a model's work is never done.
Is there anyone out there who can rekindle my fighting spirit? What are you looking at? You want a piece of me or something? <laughs> Easy now. I didn't mean it like that. No need to be so on edge. Name's Mahir, though some call me the child of the sun. I'm training to be a boxer. I've not been feeling it lately, so I'm trying other ways to motivate myself. Like Queen's blood. I don't suppose you're up for a game? You got me. Not only was your defense on point, but your offense was swift and brutal. I've never played such an intense game. It was hotter than the sun. Enough to light a fire in my soul, even. I think I'm finally out of my funk. And now, I can get back to boxing. Thank you. No better cure. We sincerely look forward to seeing you. Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie oh, instead! Yes, it's a Beat the heat with this magic... Thank you. Oh, man. You've got perfect timing. Want to go around against my little angels here? Name's Dokacha. I believe in my cards and they believe in me. We're like a big, happy family. You want to know how I got them to love me? With praise. You're so huge, you're so cool. You got to show them every day how much you care. But I also want to tell them how strong and hardworking they are too, you know? Which is why I've been looking high and low for someone I can play against.
much as I hate to admit it, it seems you have a much stronger bond with your cards than I do. Just what do you say to them to get them to love you so much? Huh? So you let your actions speak louder than your words? I see. By the way, on a completely different subject, have you ever heard of the card, the Shadow Blood Queen? Apparently there's only one. I tell you, if that's true, I hope I get the chance to see it in person someday. I bet it's the most beautiful card anyone's ever laid eyes on. <laughs> I love vacation. Well, if it isn't the talk of the resort. I can't thank you enough for handling that mess. Is there anything I can do for you? Who? Oh, that ungrateful schlub. I hope the hero is enjoying his 15 minutes of fame. It won't last, and neither will his hilltop roach trap. Just give it time. <laughs> I certainly wasn't expecting the professor to do something like that. Still, I'm a simple man, and from what I gather, his experiment was of great scientific import. So while I could have done without the collateral damage, it fills me with pride to be the mayor who holds a special footnote in Shinra's illustrious history. There were a few injuries, yes, but no guests were killed. In all honesty, the professor did us a service by ridding us of those robes. The freaks were ruining our ambience. Shinra also did us a service by providing us with a generous do- Oh, uh, forget I said anything. Well, all that ugliness is in the past. Let's look to our future, one that's bright and mutually beneficial. I'm not buying it. Oh, surely I can sell you on the idea of lending the Merc I've hired a hand. What's this about a Merc? Oh, perhaps your associates. That makes things easier. You see, some fiends popped out of the water and assaulted a group of innocent beachgoers the other day. The young lady agreed to exterminate those pests, only to go on a bender at a bar on the beach. I paid her a handsome sum up front, too, so I intend to get my money's worth. Oh, and after you've gotten rid of those monsters, as a personal favor, I want you to take care of that Merc. Uh... She's been spending the money I paid her to do nothing but party. It's time she learned there are some folks you don't cross. Hmm. Agree. I've no doubt you'll find her at that damned bar. Do give her my regards. Headquarters. <laughs> Figured I'd set up shop here in case there's trouble in paradise. I know Junon was kind of a bust, but I'm back and better than ever. Same goes for my advertising. So don't you worry about me, my fellow Merc. Aren't you supposed to be working? <sighs> really? Another lecture? <sighs> for a 20 something, you sound like my grandma. And for the record, I have been working. Thank you very much. I figured out where the fiends are probably gonna show. All that's left is to have someone else do the cleanup. Let me guess. Me? Exactly. So don't try to pin it on this, Merc. The whole situation will be resolved if you did your job. Nobody likes a slacker. Man, this girl's got some nerve. And coming from me, that's seen a lot. But if we don't do something, it's your good name that's gonna end up taking the hit. Hmm. 
She's got a point. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Your thoughtful boss has dug up a recipe for bait that ought to lure those monsters out of hiding. All you need to do is gather the materials and make some for yourself. Here. When you're done, head to the off-limits beach across town for some monster baiting. <sighs> you're coming with. Can't do this alone. According to the recipe, it looks like you're gonna need to get some rare-ass monster parts. And I do mean rare. Probably can't find them around here. Oh, did I say probably? I meant definitely. No 
sign of trouble. Maybe we've got to lure him out. Let's see if those baddies take the bait. Some legend. This bait's a bust. <laughs> Spoke too soon. You're gonna feel this one. Bingo, that's it. Better go tell Kyrie. Right. So, uh, what about the mayor's other request? You know, the whole take care of her thing? I mean, lying isn't the greatest, but she doesn't deserve that. Not yet, at least. to make tracks is on Choco back. Choco goes for red right here, folks. Whoa, I'm in the presence of a Ouija man. Grab a materia pop and give your taste buds a magical infusion. Okay. Tour goes to Del Sol in style with our wheel. Okay. Welcome back, fellow work. So, did you take care of those baddies? Yep. Ah, perfect. In that case, I'm gonna go tell the mayor so I can claim my reward. Hold it. Hmm? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? Said we should take care of you. He what? No, this has to be a joke, right? Hate to break it to you, Kyrie. But this is no laughing matter. What? Wait, hang on a sec. Please. Why would he ask you, my own business partner, to take me out? What did I do wrong? Oh, God. I don't know. Wait a minute. Is this about my looks? I'm so gorgeous that you can't take your eyes off me, distracting you from your mercenary duties. Right? That's the best you can come up with? No, wait! Let me guess. Are you mad that I called myself a mercenary? Or was it that I pressured you into doing all the dirty work? Or that I wasn't giving you a big enough cut? <sighs> Do you want to die? Mm -mm. Forgive my granddaughter for a questionable sense of humor. Uh, Grandma? I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun when I heard a merc was in town. Figured I'd pay him a visit and, well... <laughs> if Cloud hadn't come to your rescue, young lady, you would have been a goner. <sighs> so 
Don't be fooled. That mayor's no model citizen. He's as wicked as they come. You need to pick your targets with care. Yeah, yeah, he's told me a thousand times. Make it a thousand and one, because you still don't get it. Look, I'm doing my best out here, okay? It's just that some things are beyond my control. You're the one who doesn't get it. No matter what I try, every single time, it's... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah, oh. Kyrie. You know I only want what's best for you. And if you're to be the next guardian angel of the slums... Honestly, I kind of get where Kyrie is coming from here. Parents want kids to listen to them because they know what's best, but they don't. They just want us to do whatever they tell us. And that really, really sucks, you know? Mm. <sighs> I've always looked up to the guardian angel of the slums. But that's your thing, Grandma, not mine. And no matter how much I want to follow in your footsteps and make you proud, I can't. Because I'm not you. I'm me. <laughs> I don't know. You certainly sound just like me. Oh? Oh. Forgive me, dear. I know I shouldn't push you. Or nitpick your technique. So how about this? We work together as partners. Equals. Sound fair? <sighs> now then. Shall we head home? The people need us. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> In any case, thanks for looking out for my little Merc. I'll be taking her back to Midgar. Try to make sure she stays there. <laughs> Trying's about all I can do. Thank you for stepping in back there. Eh, I was just so pissed I had to say something. <laughs> Stay strong. You too. Girl power and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, partner. Coming! Actually, let's say we look for one last job before we leave. Oh, I've got an idea. You see, I dug up a little dirt about that mayor. Just a little? <laughs> So, what do we do now? We go and tell the mayor we took care of the Merc. Just like you wanted. a more final farewell, but she's gone and that's enough. As a token of my thanks, accept this reward. Sir, we've got trouble. See for yourself. They even found the secret safe. It's empty. What? You better head back. <laughs> We hereby bequeath your ill-gotten gains to the more deserving masses. And it's signed, the first and third guardian angels of the slums. Radiant saviors of the sun-kissed. No way! <laughs> Cute go, girls! Some rooms? 